Low, testing, checking sound. Low, low, low. Can you guys hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. How are you, Camila? Fine, I have a question before, yes. after begin the class. Yes, oh, okay. Or we can ask now, people aren't, aren't here yet. Only uh, yesterday you spoke with uh, about the something about manual student. That the student manual, yes. But I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I can do this. I will share it to you through WhatsApp. I will put it in the in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. So you can download it from your WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, that's no problem. Give me a second. Perfect. I will look for it here and uh, I send it over to you. Okay. Yes, yes, that's why I was asking you if you didn't have it. Okay, just a second, please. Okay. So it's going to be here. Hey, Omar, how are you? Mark? Good evening, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not bad. So not bad. Not bad. Okay, not bad. That's good. All right, great. So uh, it's going to be in the group, uh, Camilla. Okay. Just, just in case, all right, just in case you want to check on it. Okay. And it's there for everyone so you guys can see it and, uh, and uh, yeah, do some practice with it okay very good so uh in today's lesson we will uh learn about uh subject verb agreement okay so we will make sentences using subject verb agreement now uh please uh, look at this i'm going to show i'm going to show you some sentences and you tell me which ones are correct and which ones aren't all right so uh i will ask you individually so first first uh let's ask uh camilla what about number one for each of the following you choose uh, the sentence with the correct subject uh with uh in which subject and verb agree so, uh, which one is it, Camilla? Letter A or letter B? Let me share my screen so you can see. Hello, Romulo. How are you? Good evening. Huh? Doing Good evening. well. All right. Yeah. Great. So, uh, look, Camilla, you're going to tell me which sentence is correct. We have A and B. So, you tell me which one is correct. Mm. Is uh the chorus? Is it everyone of the shirt of the shirt has a green color? A green or color green. or have a green color? Is B letter B maybe? Okay. Letter B for me. Okay, <laughs> you think so? All right, good. Aleda, next one is yours. Ah, sorry. Right. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Aleda, next one is yours. This singer, along with a few others, play the harmonica on stage. Which one do you think is uh, correct, please? Um, Little B. Okay, all right. All right, let's see. This singer, all right, along with uh, a few others, plays the harmonica. All right, let's say that. All right, good. Uh, Romulo, what about you? How about for you? Which one is correct in uh, number three? Sandals and towels are essential. Are, as, are essential gear for a trip to the beach? Or is essential gear? Which one do you think is correct? Mm -hmm. 
Letter A. All right. Yeah. Pluto. All right, good. Omar, what about you? How about number four? Which one do you think is correct? And uh, number four, it's number four. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it's letter B. All right, I think it's uh, letter B. All right, the president or the vice president is speaking today. Yeah, it's only one of them. Great, thank you. And uh, yeah, let's see anybody left. Okay, so, oh, Maria, Maria, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. So it's good to have you. Uh, Maria, can you help us uh, select the correct sentence in here, please? Okay, let me see. Um, B, letter B. Letter B. Either Casey or Mary pay the employees in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, either, I, no, sorry, letter A. That's, that would be letter A probably. Okay, well, let's see what is right or wrong. Just go okay. and continue. And, uh, okay. Oh, wait, there are more. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, but we can, oh, let's continue asking more people. All right, let's see who else is in here. All right, Jonathan, Jonathan, please help here. Help, number six. Number select, six. select the correct sentence, please. In the school or the Number six. Number six. Is A. A. All right, good, thank you. Next one uh, will be Romulo, please. How about number seven? Which one do you think is correct? Uh, number, number. Uh, number, number eight, seven. number eight. Number seven, letter A or B? Eight. A, letter A. All right, the coat or the hats on in the closet. We're, we're gonna see which one will be right. Okay, next one, uh, Camilla, please. Um, letter B. Letter B, all right, neither, neither she nor I am getting uh, the lunch special. Well, let's see. Good. All right. Uh, number nine. Arabella, welcome. Welcome back. Now, uh, can you tell me which sentence is correct? Number nine. Letter A or letter B, please. Thank you. A moment, please. Um, Is B. Okay. Correct is B. Correct is B. Each of the dancers. Girl. Really? Okay, good. Let's see. How about number 10? Uh, let's ask uh, Aleda, please. There B. All right, let it be. Mustard greens is my favorite vegetable. Okay, let's see. And uh, finally, Omar, 11. Tell us which one is correct. 11. Everybody. Uh, everybody where? Uh, let her be, I think. B. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see. And uh, let's grade this and hope. 
it comes up. Everybody at the party were enjoying the food. Okay, great, great. All right, let's check. So here, let's check on the on these rules. So uh, number one, it goes like this. Uh, correct answer is apparently number one. Every one of these shirts has a green color. So the correct answer is a, okay, the pronoun one is singular. So a singular verb. Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, number two. Omar, read it, please. I think we are okay, right. Okay, number two. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Only, uh, only answer. Yes. Okay. Correct answer is letter B, the singer, along with a few. All right, good, we got that one. Maria, can you continue with the next, please? Oh, we can't hear you. Sorry, That's the okay. correct, uh, yeah, the correct answer. Yes. Okay, sandals and towel are essential wear for a trip to the beach. Okay, yeah, that was correct. All right, we have another one here it, that is the president or the vice president, you know, either one or the other uh, is speaking. So when we have the connector or, which means one or the other, we need a singular verb. All right, good. Then uh, we have number five, either Casey or Mary pays their employees. So the correct answer is A, because we have or, right? And either as well. So this one, this one's, uh, these two words mean options, either or, all right? Good, so it, so far we're, we were doing quite well here. Yeah, either or again, all right, good. Oh, look at this one. Neither she nor I am getting the lunch special. So look, the verb must agree with the pronoun I. All right, that's important. So it's like when we also, in, a, in look, I goes second. She nor I. Like we say in Spanish, el burro por delante. When somebody says, yo y mi amigo, right? So in English is the same rule. I goes second, all right? She or I, all right? You and I. You and I, for example, when you 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 tell uh, your your uh, your wife or your husband, uh, you and I will be together forever. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. Good. 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 Uh, let's see. Oopsie. Here we had a mistake. Uh, Jose, welcome, Jose. Uh, can you uh, can you read what happened here, please? In the number nine. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, the pronoun each is singular and requires singular verbs. Okay. Miss I don't know what it means by the object of the preposition. Okay, don't be misled, all right? To be misled, misled is uh, to be lied to, like, or to believe something that is not true. That's to be mis misled. Like some people say, oh, COVID-19 doesn't exist. And people believe, oh, those people are misled because they believe something that's not true. So uh, each, all right. Remember, each is a is an individual word. So we need a, a singular pronoun. Mm -hmm. All right, good, good, good. Number ten. Uh, let's see. It's all good. Mustard greens is a plural and requires the verb are. Mm. 
Okay. Are my favorite vegetables. Okay, it's a plural noun here. All right, then, uh, for example, everybody at the party was enjoying the food. The pronoun everybody is singular. All right, so everybody is, all right, is a singular. Okay, it's a pronoun that's singular, so we use is. All right, now let's check a very quickly on some rules for subject verb agreement right let's look at some examples and you guys help me hearing uh, help me reading this so let's ask uh, first let me see who do we ask first okay uh maria can you read the heading of this uh, table please Okay, subjects that are proceed by extension of quantity are called com comple complex, yeah, complex subjects. All right, complex subjects. Okay, great. They right. take either or singular or, or a plural verbs for depend of the number, singular or plural of the um, quantifier yeah of the quantifier all right good quantifier. yeah good so let's read some examples okay let's read some examples here uh please uh Aleda, can you read uh letter a the first of decision has been made to go ahead with the plan been. Ahead with the plan. Okay, good. The first of decisions has been made. So here we have the first, right? It's just one. Okay, the first of decisions has been made. All right, good. The first refers to one of decisions, one among many. Good, great. Uh, let's ask. Uh, Romulo, to continue reading, please. Romulo, can you continue? Uh, can you read the next one, please? Okay. <laughs> letter B or uh, letter uh, letter B. Please. Okay. One of the good things I like about working with you, all of the effort you make to do the job right. Okay. One of the things I like. All right about working is, right, one of, so look at the quantifier here, quantifier, does anybody remember what a quantifier is? Do you remember a quantifier? Do you remember what a quantifier is? <laughs> no. no? Okay, uh, it's simple. The quantifier is a, is a word that, uh, that measures measures nouns uh for example for example you you can say uh a bag of uh, for example uh, or a bag of an item or for example you can also say uh a pound of sugar a pound of sugar so that a pound is a quantifier okay like these are words we use to measure things or a bunch of grapes a bunch of grapes or let me see another oh a liter of water for example so those are words that help uh, that help counting or measuring nouns all right good so one is a single is a single noun or, or it's a, it's an individual so now uh, Let's ask, okay, uh, let's ask Anna Lillian, can you read uh, letter, uh, letter A on the right column, please? Anna Lillian, are you there? Is your microphone working? Lillian? Hey. 
Hi. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Okay, I think probably she's unable to. Jose, can you read it, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. some, yes. difficult, some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about the cost and quality. Okay, great. <laughs> Some difficult decisions. Now, uh, can you tell us why we say some, uh, some are instead of some is? Because there are uh, plurals, right? Okay. Some refers to more mm -hmm. than one. More than one. Yeah, they are plural, just like you said. Good. Very good. Uh, so a majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. All right, let's see what's up with this one. Jonathan, can you read it, please? Letter B. A majority of product developers, the development prefer to use blind tests. Okay, a majority of product developers, right? Developers. developers. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, product developers prefer to use blind tests. So why do we say a majority prefer and not a majority prefers? Anybody? Jonathan, why do you think we say a majority prefers and not a majority prefers? I, uh, I think that uh, the refer is uh, one group. Okay. No, many groups. Okay, so we refer here to one, oh wait, a majority of product developers, they're plural, okay. So we use a, a majority and the number take a plural verb, okay. The, ver the verb is plural, all right. So uh, here, if we have a, a, a plural noun, we use a plural verb. And if we have a singular noun, we use a sing uh, we use a single a uh, singular verb. All right. So, for example, here we have some uh, uh, the, a majority a majority of product developers prefer. That's plural. All right. Good. Good. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing, Jonathan. Okay. Great. Now we will continue practicing. We'll continue practicing uh, subject verb agreement with things from home. All right? You got it? So what you're going to do is this. For a minute, for a minute or less, I want you to turn off your video. All right? Stop. Stop. Video. And you look around your room or walk around your home and then uh when you come back you tell us about the things you saw at home so for example uh i take a look around at my room at the room where i'm at right now i'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm at my living room and i see that the majority of windows are clean the majority of them, not all of them, all right? The majority of windows are clean. And uh, let's see, the one of the windows, it's a little dusty. Yeah, one of the windows is a little dusty. It's a little dirty. And uh, also, oh, I see. Oh, look, I have lots of pens in here. So... Some of my pens have a cap. Some of my pens have a cap. Some of, but not all of them. Some just don't have a cap. Some of my pens don't have a cap. All right, so I want you to walk around your home for one minute, okay? Don't go and have dinner now. Just for one minute, walk around your house and tell me about in the in the in the, you know take notes of, of ideas you can see in there, 
and share your sentences in the group. Okay? All right, good. So we turn uh, our video off. All right, first, before I do that, let's see. Do you understand what we're doing? What are we going to do, Jose? We take a, a walk around the, our houses and look uh, the, I don't know, the, the items. We can uh, construct a, a verb agreement with a complex subject. Okay, good. Yeah, simply, that's what we do. So walk around the house, look at the things you can make sentences about. You come back and tell us. All right, so it's currently... 826 so we turn off our audio and video at three two one and go Why are you guys still here? Okay, great. So some of you took their walk around already and uh, are back to the game. Okay, so uh, tell me, uh, Maria, Maria, tell me some of the things you saw in your walk around. Okay, so my dishes in my house are cleaned. Okay, great. All right, and uh, what else did you see? Um, another example. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else did you see? Um, some uh, bedroom in my house are clean. Is that correct? Okay. Some of your, some of your rooms. Okay. I got you. Yeah, that's good. All right. Very well. Very well. Uh, what else did you see in your walk around? Uh, let's ask uh, uh, Jose. What did you see in your walk around? I see in my bedroom a lot of cans of salutaris, <laughs> and all of them are empty. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite drink? Yes. Oh, right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. And. Uh, Let's see, Romulo, what about you? What do you see? Okay, I went to the, my living room <laughs> and I saw my drapes uh, have a, a little dust. <laughs> okay, all right. And I saw my base and it's clean. My base is clean and my rug has a stain. Okay, all right, good, good. Thanks for sharing. Uh, let's see, Camila, what about you? What did you see in your walk around? Okay, around my house, um, some lights in my house are on. Okay, great, great, very good. What else did you see? Um, some dishes uh, are washed. All right, some dishes are washed. Okay, very good. And uh, Jonathan, what about you? What did you see in your walk around? I see um, a, a photo of, of my son in the, in the wall. All right, good. Uh, I, I see uh, through the, 
and uh, my job are uh, to play with in, in, the, in the floor. <laughs> All right. Um, and I see to the TV on my uh, in the ball. Okay. All right. So good, good. And Omar, what about you? What What did you see in your walk around? I see the windows. Uh, there are many things hanging, uh, okay. hanging in the windows, and there are many chairs uh, in in many in many ways in my room. Okay, all right, good. It is order. Oh, oopsie, it's a little messy, all right, but that's all right. Hey, Aleida, what did you see in your walk around? Most uh, of the plants are ready. Mm -hmm. Yes. My table is, is mess or messy. All right, it's a little messy. <laughs> And my bed is asleep. All right. Good, good. Thank you. Now let's ask, uh, let's ask, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Arabella, what about you? What did you see in your walk around? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> some people are watching TV. Yes. But the majority are falling asleep. Really? Okay. Yeah. What else? <laughs> what else did you see? No. Oh, okay. Um, hmm? The three sofa and television, one computer. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. okay, well, that's okay. That, that, that's all right. Thanks for sharing anyways. Hey, now uh, we're going to do this, all right? There are some exercises here. And uh, also, I, I just uh, shared the student. Uh, I'm quite sure if I shared both things. Wait. I shared uh, with you the student manual in the in the WhatsApp group, just in case you don't have it or you didn't have access to it. I shared it with you in there so you can see it and and uh, and uh, and also uh, practice and do the exercises. So it's there. You can check it. That's the student's manual. I think some of you already downloaded it. All right, good. And uh, we're gonna do some exercises from your student's manual. We're gonna do this together. All right. So let's take a look at this. All right. So I want you to choose the correct option. One more time, we're gonna do something similar. So look at the sentences on the screen. Okay, here we go. So first uh, let's ask let's ask Romulo to read the first sentence and uh, you answer it too. Or let's do this. You read it and ask somebody else to answer it. Okay, so read it and then you go like, uh, Omar, please answer, or Jonathan, answer, or Camilla, answer. All right, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. Okay, you select uh, by... Jonathan. <laughs> okay. Answer, please. <laughs> Some of the participants in the testing group yes, have, have not yet. Right. No, it's, uh, it's 
have not have not arrived yet. Yeah, have so not people. arrived. Yeah. Arrived. Right. Have not arrived right. yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Thank you. Now, Jonathan, is your turn. You read the next sentence and select somebody else to answer. Okay, and the number four. All right. Yes, please. Uh, the fear of the suggestion. Oh, no, no, that'll be number two, sir. That'll be number two. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, two. One, the, one of the factors to decide on the best type of thesis is are the characteristics. Characteristics. Yeah, characteristics. Of, yes. Characteristics of the product itself. Great. And, um, I ask where to. I yeah, uh, ask somebody else ask to answer, please. Yeah. Jose de Lao. Jose. All right, Jose. Okay. Uh, I think the answer is R. One of the factors to decide, one of the, one, no, sorry, to decide on the best type of test are the characteristics of the product itself. Mm -hmm. All right, this one is a little tricky. It's okay. Um, are you sure about that one? One of the factors to decide is, or are, Mm, I think, I don't know, to be honest, I know, I don't know, but I think it's R because there are some characteristic or characteristic, I don't know how to say. Uh huh, characteristic. Characteristic. All right, and uh, how about this? One mm. of the factors to decide, are we referring to the characteristics or are we referring to one of, one of the factors? What do you mm -hmm. think? Uh, huh? Let's check on the rule. Yeah. Let's check on the rule. It's okay. We, you know, we're all learning here. So uh, if we check here on the rule, one of the good things I like about you all mm -hmm. is the F word. Okay. All right. So one is a single noun. All right. Of, uh, of various good things. So we use is in here all right okay so, okay mm -hmm. yes all right in spite of the characteristics it's plural right the characteristics is plural but we have one in there all right good uh please jose read the next one and ask somebody else to read uh to answer it please okay uh number of customers is our Satisfied with the performance of the new map. I ask to Aleida Juarez. All right, Aleida, what do you think? A, num a number is, is plural or is one set? Uh, that a number of customers seems like to be, uh, it seems to be plural, right? Like a number or a majority or are, uh, are a number of customer are okay great great a number of customers are satisfied with the performance yeah for example here all right a majority of product developers prefer all right customers product developers good. And remember that what follows here is plural, developers, customers, okay? Customers, plural, plural. Aleda, go ahead and read the next one and have somebody else answer, please. The first of the, suggest the suggestion I want to implement is are the design of the label. Okay. Great. Um, Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan. What do you think? Oh, I'm afraid he 
couldn't. Jonathan, are you there? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Yes, the, the, what number is? Sorry. All right, Jonathan, we're in number. We're in number four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A number of customers. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, the first suggestion. Is is the design of no uh, the, is is the first of the suggestion I want to implement is the design of the lemon. Yeah, that's singular. That's singular. Very good. Singular. Now let's ask uh, Mario. Mario, welcome back, Mario. Mario. Uh, can you please read the uh, read number five and have somebody else answering? Okay. Uh, okay. A majority of testers have or has pointed out the need to make our product lighter. All right. Good. Yeah, I like um, I will ask you Romulo. All right, Romulo's. All right, Romulo's. Uh... Thank you. Uh, for me, it's a majority of testers have pointed out the need to make our product lighter. Okay, that's very good. Why is that? Be why is that, Romulo? Why do you think so? Uh, because uh, uh, the rules say say that the a majority and numbered of numbered all right considered plural. It's a considered a plural, right? A majority of customers in a in a number of that's considered plural. Great. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, Romulo, I guess uh, you read the next one and ask. A person that has not participated to answer the next one, please. Okay. A number of comments suggest or suggest, suggest yeah. that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Uh, Mario, answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And says, a number of comments suggest, and the answer is suggests. A number of comments suggest this. Suggest. Mm -hmm. Suggest. Mm -hmm. Suggest that the frag, fragrance, 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 uh, fragrance. fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. All right. Good. Now, uh, please. Uh, Mary, do you agree on this? He said it's uh, the answer is suggests. Do you do you agree with his answer? Um, <laughs> I think is is that correct? You think is right? Uh, um, anybody else? Is it correct to say a number of comments suggest uh, of comments? Yes, suggest. because it's uh, say a number of comment. A number is a plural. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is that is indeed true. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's plural and. Uh, if the if the noun is plural, do we add a ness to the verb or not? Do we add an s to the verb if the noun is plural? Like for example, is it okay to say they plays they plays basketball? Is that sentence correct? No. All right. So what about now? So a number of comments. Suggest. Yes, with no S. Correct. Very good. Very good. So a number of comments suggest that the fragrance is uh, the fragrance of the candle 
is the best characteristic. All right, very good. Very good, guys. Uh, any questions so far? I have one question. Yes. Here. Yes. And for example, we can use most instead of majority. Yeah, most of, uh, yes, that's okay. That's a great idea too. Most of the customers or most of my students are in class right now. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the rule apply. Yes, and it will be plural because usually when you say most of, you follow the phrase most of by a plural. So yes, it is correct. It is correct indeed. Very good. Any other question, please? Any other question, guys? Please, 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 anybody? So, <clears throat> if you don't have a quest, any other question, we'll just continue. We'll just move on. Here's a little, a little quiz. All right, in the manual, so you can also follow it and do it yourselves. All right, let's see, where is it? Seems like it isn't. Well, now we know it isn't. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's go back. <clears throat> so, uh, so we'll continue working on uh, making sentences, all right, using using these uh these ideas about uh about subject and verb agreement great very good and uh <clears throat> and now we are going to look at some other expressions of quantity and special cases that we should know about all right so let's read this together all right let's read this together Let's ask uh, first, let's ask, uh, let's ask Camilla to help us uh, reading about expressions of quantity, special cases. So let's learn about special cases. Uh, Camilla, can you read it, please? Uh, all right. Yes, can you see it on the screen? Yes. Oh, do I have to zoom? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, okay. Uh, subject verb and agree are generally quite. Uh, quite. Yeah, uh, quite. Strong, uh, strength forward in English. Straightforward. Takes, mm -hmm. takes any handbook for the general rule. However, with subject that introduce the idea for of quantity, some additional rules of term are needed. Here are a few that are used useful for academic writing. Great. Uh, let's check on those. Okay. Let's check. Uh, let's check on those that are useful. All right. So. Um, Jose, can you read the first one, please? Sure. Uh, first, uh, it'll be one more. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. With fractions, percentage, and indefinite quantifiers, example, all, few, many, much, some, the verb agrees with the Preceding noun or clause. Yes. All right. Great. All right. What else? With a singular or non count noun or clause, use a singular verb. Okay. Great. With the singular or non count noun clause, we use a singular verb. All right. Con all right. Continue, please. Okay. One third of these are. 
article is taken up with the statistical analysis. Analysis. Sorry. All right. Good. Let's ask. Uh, let's ask uh, Omar to continue reading, please. Second sentence over here. Match. Much of the food seems relevant, relevant to this study. All right. All of what he writes is undocumented. Right. Uh, Fifty percent of the job is routine. All, right. All the information is current. Okay, good, good. So, uh, look with fractions percentages and indefinite uh, articles we use uh, like for example all few many much more and some uh, the verb agrees with the preceding noun clause okay so for example here's a noun clause one third of this article much of the book half of what he writes 50 percent of the job okay and uh, all of the information. So all of these, the first part of the sentence before the verb is a singular noun, all right? So what, what we do, what we do is using a singular verb. And uh, we, and in this case in specific, we use uh, seems, okay, like, we add an S because it's the simple present. All right, so that's what happens. Hey, so far, is there any new vocabulary in this reading? Nope, like new vocabulary, new words in here. Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, in the second sentence, it uh, seems, I don't know how. What it mean? Oh, seems. Seems it's like appears. Appears. That means something similar to appears or looks like. Okay. So, for example, uh, look at, uh, look at, uh, look at Jorge. Jorge seems worried. Look at Jorge. See, he looks worried. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Very good. Uh, any other question here? Any other question about vocabulary? Is there any other question about vocabulary? If there isn't, we're just uh, moving on. Okay. Uh, so if we have a plural noun, we use a plural verb. Let's read some examples. Uh, please. Let's see. Please, Arabella, can you read uh, these examples? One third. Okay. One third of the students have graduate degrees. All right, have graduate degrees. That's uh, a graduate degree is like a licenciatura. Ah, okay. okay. Graduate yep, all right, good. Uh, please continue. Okay, many research depend on grants from industry. All right. Half, mm -hmm. Yes, continue, please. Half of his articles are peer reviewed. Yep. 50% of the computer have CD ROM drive. All the students are current. All the studies, okay? All studies. All, all the studies are current. All right. Hey, look, guys. Notice here. Notice here we have one third of students, okay? These are, these are plural nouns, all right? One third of students, all right? Many researchers. Is this singular or plural? That is it's plural. That is plural. Yes. Half of uh, his articles. Is that singular, singular or plural? Plural. That's so, plural. 
All right, great. Sure. All right, so we just uh, follow, we just follow the order, all right? We just follow a subject verb agreement. We agree with the noun, all uh, right. We also have, uh, we also have, uh, well, we have lots of rules in there, but you, you continue reading them on, on your own. We also have collective, uh, collective nouns, all right? So it depends a lot on what you want to emphasize. Like for example here, if you want to emphasize to individual members or if you want to emphasize um, a group, you, it depends on you, right? So for example, half of my family live or lives. Okay, in Canada. All of the class is here or are here. So it depends, all right, on what you want to emphasize. Right, we already talked about the, we already talked about majority, but there is a little exception here. 75% majority, right, have or has it it's up to you all right and look we also have expressions of time and it, it will almost take forever to look at them but let's have a quick look at this one so if the majority refers to a specified set of person we use a plural noun like for example a majority of Canadians have voted for change or am I a minority of students are willing, right? So we are referring to a specified set of person, like a group, a specific group of people, okay? Then we have uh, expressions of time and money. Sometimes they're usually taken as a verb. Like for example, what do you think about the price of uh, of an iPhone 10. What's your opinion about the price of an iPhone 10? Uh, let's, how, mu how much is an iPhone 10? Anybody know? Does anybody know here? No? $900? Dollars. So in my, I think $900 is okay. Wait, $900 by dollars? It sounds plural teacher. But when we talk about price, we use the singular. So, for example, uh, for example, let's imagine you're uh, you're uh, you're uh, bargaining a product. You're negotiating. So uh, somebody tells you, um, "I'm selling you this car for five thousand dollars." Okay. Do you agree with the price? Do you agree with the price? Let's imagine we're negotiating this. Five thousand mm dollars -hmm. is cheaper. It is five thousand dollars is too cheap. Is too cheap. It is cheap. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Thanks, Omar. Now, uh, what about you? What do you think? I have uh, I have a. Let's say let's say this. I have a Toyota Corolla, twenty. Twenty ten at $5,000. What's your opinion about it? Mario, what do you think? $5,000. Would you negotiate that or is it or uh, you think it's okay? You say 2010, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper. It is cheap, all right? It's or is is okay or you can say $5,000. 5,000 is is okay. All right. What if let's imagine also this this scenario very quickly. Uh, girls, all right. Only girls, and you answer in the chat, or you can also answer here in the in in the in the conference. Let's imagine you have a date. Okay. Let's imagine you have a date, and uh, this boy tells you. Um, that you have to wait, okay? Can you please wait f 
for 10 minutes. Can you wait for me for 10 minutes? What's your, what, what's your reaction to that? What would you say, oh, 10 minutes is okay, or 10 minutes is too much? What do you think? Uh, let's ask, uh, let's ask Arbella, what do you think? 10 minutes, what do you think about that? 10 minutes is okay, 10 minutes is too much. Everybody will answer. Is, is too much time, maybe. Okay, so 10 <laughs> minutes is too much time, is too long. Oh, so she's not a patient girl. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Maria, let's imagine there is this. Okay, let's, I, I think most of you are married, so let's not say a date. Let's say you are meeting with a friend, okay? Let's say you're meeting with a friend. I, I think it's, a, it's, don't, it's no problem because uh, it's only 10 minutes, but uh, a friend tell us um, one hour, hours or, or half an hour is, is a difficult because, because um, you, um, you talk about a, a time in the, in, in the day, but 10 minutes is no problem. Uh -huh. it's, uh -huh. it's a normal here in El Salvador. <laughs> Okay, 10 minutes is it's normal in El Salvador. All right, good, good. Now, uh, let, me, let me run attendance, because I have to. Let me run attendance, and, uh, uh, and uh, then we continue the discussion, because boys have to answer too, okay? And uh, you'll see, you'll see, it's gonna get, it's gonna get interesting. Just a second, guys. Here's this thing. Okay, let's begin. All right, so Jose, Jose Enrique de la O Salazar, you say present, okay? Present. All right, thank you. And uh, Katia Maria Solano de Santana, not coming anymore. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino, not coming anymore. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernandez. No, I have no clue. Uh, Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Iris Dorotea Figueroa Acevedo. Oh, probably in Iris has traveled. At at work. All right. Claudia Evelyn Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. No, she it's not that. Okay. Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Maria, okay, got you. Thank you. Cesar Vladimir Romero Rugamas. Ya no está. Uh, Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present. Got you. And uh, Ana Lilian Gonzalez de Peraza. Okay, she came for the first minute, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, Shane Zoar Demin Cabrera. It's not here. Arabella Parada Gámez. Present. Got you. Mario Enrique Marquez Celaya. Present. Thank you. And uh, Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegría Orellana. 
Gloria. Okay, Gloria is not here today. And Elias Samuel Orellana. No, he's not here either. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Present. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Mm, and Andrea is not here. Hey, that's weird. Camila Calles Minero. Present. Thank you. Oh, that's it. That's the gang. Okay. Good. Good. Hey, where were we? Oh, yes. Discussion. Yeah, discussion. Talking, talking, talking. So, what about you guys? Hey, I'm going to make you think a little bit. Boys, let's imagine, well, the majority of you are married. And if you're, ma if you're not married, and or if you are single, like completely single, let you imagine you have a couple. Let's imagine you have a couple. So, let's imagine your wife or girlfriend or whatever goes on a trip for two weeks. What's your opinion? Well, my girlfriend goes on a trip for two weeks. Uh, I would say, well, two weeks is too much. One week is okay, a break, but two weeks is too much. What, what is your opinion? Trips uh, alone or? Oh, <laughs> no. It's, it's a good question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Now it's getting a little hot. So uh, let's imagine she goes with a girlfriend, you know, a friend of hers, her best friend. Okay, her best friend. What's your opinion? Well, I, I can begin. Yes. I, I think that she will travel to uh, two weeks. I only only say uh, okay goodbye and I yeah, enjoy <laughs> enjoy enjoy the travel uh, take uh, take some photos send me photos and bring uh, and bring me a uh, gift. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Give me some souvenirs. All right, good. I wanna sleep. I wanna sleep. I wanna sleep to uh, so good. <laughs> no, so long. Goodbye. Hey. So now, long, goodbye, yeah. All right, good. Uh, Mario, what about you? What's your opinion? What do you think? I think like like Jonathan and. Take your time, go to enjoy the trip, and take some pictures. All right. And I'm going to have the house alone for two weeks for me. Oh, right. So <laughs> he, 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 sees, he sees the bright side. That's also good. You are looking at the bright side. And uh, so two weeks is enough, all right, or is okay. And Jose, what do you think? Mm, I think it's okay, but it depends where they will go. <laughs> uh, okay. Because, yes, because she will go to another country, it's okay, because two weeks in, a, in another country, uh, it, it's okay. But mm -hmm. if she say me, I will go two weeks to El Tunco, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's so much time. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's probably mm -hmm. a little suspicious. <laughs> a little yes. fishy. Yes, yes. Fishy. Fishy means suspicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Um Omar, what do you think? Couple goes on a trip with a friend. What would you say for two weeks? Would you say two weeks is too much or two weeks is okay? Two weeks, it's okay. Never mind. 
I get someone else. Oh, well, oh, take, oh, 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 <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> yeah, of course, I fresh. Uh, can go wherever you want. All right, all right, but don't come back, please. <laughs> all right. <Forget> me. <laughs> okay, all right, so you take it very seriously. All right, good. So look, we just use expressions of time and expressions of time and also money will be singular even though we're talking about numbers. So we said prices, hey, $5,000 is not, is not okay. Two weeks is okay. So we are using there, uh, we are using expressions of time. All right, great, great. Very good, very good. And uh, well, that was just that was just a little uh, a little brainstorming, you know, just a little uh, participation. But what I want you to do now is this: I want you to please think about yeah again one more time about a product. Let's imagine you released a product, okay? And uh, you tested it already. Your product has been tested already. And uh, in your group, you are going to make uh, sentences similar to the ones in the manual about the results of your product, uh, of your product uh, launching. Like for example, the majority Jesus. The majority of uh, customers are happy about our, our product, or the majority, uh, or the majority of, uh, of people, or a number of customers didn't like. Or one of the things we can improve in our product is the smell, or is the size. Okay. You make sentences about a product, an imaginary product, of course, and uh, use subject verb agreement with these complex noun phrases like with words like first, words like uh, um, like the first, one of, and uh, help me, some, another, some, much, a majority, and a number. So imagine you, you already developed your product. Imagine you already made it and uh, it's being released. So make sentences about the, the testing of your product. Make also, also make sentences about the, uh, the, lunch, the customer's impressions about your product and use these phrases majority of, one of, the first of, much of, uh, a number, and uh, one of. So use all of those ones and then you share those sentences with the class. <clears throat> so we're gonna work in small groups, all right? Let's imagine your product is done. You created whatever you think, probably a bleach, a shampoo, or uh, a new flavor of donuts or a new pizza topping, whatever you can think of. And then you make your sentences. So now uh, let's break it down. Let's break it down and let's work in small groups. So we pretty much have a... Mm -hmm. Three people and each group is okay. So yeah, we'll work in trios, right? So here we go. Please accept the invitation. Okay. Product to launch or release. 
And yes. my, idea, my idea was a new kind of flavor of beer, I remember. And I think the mayor of people uh, would like because in this country we not we 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 don't have many uh, options. We only have a single beer like uh, Suprema. Well, no, only Suprema have a uh, Suprema Roja, Suprema Verde, but then others uh, uh, well, kinds of, of beer don't have uh, yes uh, flavors like strawberry, pineapple, mango. I don't know. But it's my it's my idea. That's quite okay. good. Okay, I agree with this idea. All right. <laughs> But teacher is uh, 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 each other uh, uh, we can give uh, the opinion of uh, this the, 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 the own product or or the only product for the group. Uh, you have to make uh, sentences similar to the ones in the manual. Like uh, they don't have to be the same, but they have to be similar. Different, yeah, different product, right? Yeah, yeah, it, will, it has to be about about uh, about the same. Like for example, let's imagine that as a group, you uh, you created you said as a, a new flavor of beer, so you make sentences about the testing of the product and also about mm -hmm. your customers' impressions. So you can say uh, the majority of uh, women liked the new strawberry. Uh, the new Thank strawberry you. flavor uh but a small number of men didn't like it or a small number of men likes the strawberry beer for example mm -hmm. okay so okay. make sentences about let's imagine your product is over and it's in the market already and then, yeah. then you make sentences about the the results of your of your of your new product all right okay is that clear okay. All right clear good let me check on the other groups all right I'll, I'll okay uh, around. when people so, all right, are we clear on what we're doing? We, well, we were talk to the... We, we have talked to the... Um, the dog food. Uh, this food uh, are. Uh, evita que se caiga el cabello. Oh, right. Good. Good. Now, uh, what you're going to, what you're going to make, uh, what you're going to do is uh, making sentences about your your results, like uh, about what people think about your product like let's imagine you already your product your product is already launched so what you're gonna do is uh, what you're gonna do is uh saying sentences like for example the majority of uh of uh customers or or participants in testing group uh the, okay. the new food is good all right or a small number of uh, of customers is not happy with the product all right so you just you just imagine the product is out there already and you make sentences about uh similar to the ones in the in the manual and the, those sentences are also in the in your group Okay. You can make, you can use that example, right? Right. Good, good. I'll go check on the group, on the other groups. Okay, maybe if we can say, or maybe the sentence is 
um, about uh, the application in the and the cell phone. Uh, the much people think the the application are uh, is important. Okay. And, and what's your your finished product? Uh, cell phones. Uh, uh, cell phone. And brand, brand Huawei. Uh, all right, a new Huawei phone. Okay, so uh, so do you understand what we have to do? Um, I think it's um, use a majority mm -hmm. uh, customer, for example, yeah. or some people um, think uh, so much. All right, good, good. That's actually what we're doing. Uh, you make sentences about people's impressions about your product. Good. That's all we're doing. Okay. Keep it up. All right, keep working on it. Teacher, yes. what page in the manual uh, you send in WhatsApp, uh, what page is? Oh, right. It's on page 18. 18. Yes. Mm, thank you. All right. Welcome. All right. Great. Great. Let's go ahead. I'll go check on another group. Okay. Right back. Okay, we got like a five or six statements, like uh, some participants in the testing group have not a good comments for a new flavor of beer. All right, that sounds good. Sounds quite good. All right. Any other uh, any other sentence there? Mm. The majority of older tester, old tester, yeah, uh, don't like the new product. You know, that's actually a good one. That is a very good one. Hey, great, great job, guys. Uh, all right, I think uh, I'll just give it a couple of minutes to the other groups and, and we will meet in, in a few minutes together, okay. all right? Okay. Great. The minority think that the, those who don't have anything, maybe. All right, yeah, that sounds like a good example. Sounds like a good example. Yeah, keep working. How many sentences do you have uh, so far? I think that uh, five sentences. Or... All right. Yeah. Yeah. You keep keep making more. All right. I'll go check on the other group. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you. One of the participants in the testing group made a call in front of us. That's what you say. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it sounds. It sounds good. Made a what you said, Omar? Excuse me, teacher. Oopsie. Uh, Earth is shaking. Yes. Well, that's funny. Working. 
and it's still shaking. <laughs> it's still funny. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Sure. So, take it calmly, all right? Take it calmly. I think I'm going to stop the group session. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> let's get back. Let's see who 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 freaks out, who panics, okay? <laughs> let's Okay, everybody is back. All right. Is everybody all right? Did anybody get hurt? I think so. No, 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 no. We nobody all right, everybody all right, nobody got hurt. Awesome. Yeah, that's what we that's what we need, you know, to stay safe. All right, good. It, you know, it wasn't much. It was just a little shake, all right? It's a little tremor. Don't worry. So, now, uh, well, I think uh, as groups, now we can share our sentences, all right? So, let's begin. All right, please. Uh, group number one. Group number one. What uh what hap uh what product are you talking about? Let's see, group number one is Camila's, Jose's, and Romulo's. So what is uh your your product, please? Jose. Go ahead, Jose. Yes, our product is a new flavor of, of beer. It's like uh the first class, the it's the same product. Okay, all right, good. And uh, and uh, tell us more about what happened to it. Uh, anybody in the group? The first of suggestion, suggest, suggestion. Okay. Uh, right. I want to implement that uh, is to improve the design label. Okay, great, great, that sounds good. Let's see, all right, anything else to share, uh, to talk about it? Okay, a uh, number of customers is satisfied um, with the price of the new beer. Okay, uh, all right, a number of customers is, is satisfied, okay. Sounds good. Like it. All right. Uh, something, anything uh, else uh, to add about it, uh, Jose? Repeat, please. Uh, any, any, anything else to add to your, uh, to your classmates' uh, participation? Uh, sure. Uh, maybe another one will be like one of the factor to decide to decide of the best type of the test is the the new flavor test okay all right one of the all right that sounds good sounds good all right good let's check on grip number three uh, number two so that's Aleda. Arabella's and Jonathan's. So tell us uh, what happened to your product. Uh, first, what is your product? What What is the product that you supposedly released? The product is dog food. All right, dog food. And uh, tell us uh, a bit about customers' impressions, please. Mm. And most of us prefer food. 
Uh -huh. um, the, the, majority, the majority people are satisfied with the food. Yes. And right. um, um, the food is the food is things less. Yes. Is things less. Things. Um, uh -huh. Que es menos olorosa. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. So, so dogs uh, poop smells less. Okay, dogs poop smells less. Okay, great. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jonathan, what about you? Any other sentences? Uh, sentence about your product that you want to um, share? Yeah, it's the, the uh, one minority thinks that. The dogs who uh, is a uh, well, uh, are help help uh, in anything to the nutrition of the dog. Okay, so a minority of group of the of your customers uh, thinks. All right, good, good. That sounds good, and uh, I think. Camilla is in this group too, right? Or no, Arabella is. In Arabella. This. Yes. Arabella. Arabella. So, what is uh, what? What's another finding of uh, these uh, release of this product release, please? Okay. Uh, this product it's first grown, beautiful. Um. Uh, my dog. My my dog like. The flower food. The flavor. Your, so flavor. Uh, flavor. Now, uh, let's talk about the the results of your uh, of your product. So, like for example, like the majority of customers, a small number, or the first. So can you make sentences using those uh, those uh, pronouns, please? Using the majority of, one of, the first of, a number of, a third of. The majority cost of the customer says that it first grown beautiful. All right, all right, good. Now, the majority of customers say or says, what do you think? The majority of customers say or says? Say. Say, okay, good, because it's plural. Yes, plural. good, yeah, all right, group number three. Group number three. Okay, great. So that's Maria, Mario, and Omar. So guys, uh, please first, what's your product? And then uh, share your customers' impressions with the class, please. Okay, in this occasion, we select Huawei brand and a majority of people use the cell phones to test how good it was. Okay, great. At the, time, at the time that test uh, and ask questions how to use uh, the new tel technology uh, cell phone. All right, great. That sounds good. Like it. All right, uh, Maria, oh, let's ask Mario. Mario? Uh, another sentence to share about your 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 results. Okay, and the first new cell phone has been sold in San Salvador. Okay. All right, the first cell phone. All right, the first of the cell phones has been sold in San Salvador. Good. And uh, what else? Uh, what else, uh, Maria? Um, the majority customer are okay. happy. Yes. Uh, uh, for a new, new cell phone because our practice, or no, 
It's practice. Practical, all right. Practical. All right, so the majority of customers are happy with your phone because your phone is practical. I like it, very good. And uh, yeah, so good. Those are good sentences, okay? Those are very good sentences. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, I want you to do this. Let's stop for a minute. Let's stop thinking about uh, customers and uh, product and blah, blah, blah. Let's now make simple questions, okay? We're going to make very simple questions about anything, pretty much. But, uh, so we are going to create a questionnaire, a small questionnaire, and the, after the questionnaire, uh, after the questionnaire, we share our results. Like for example, I write uh, three questions. All right, uh, number one, are you married? Uh, number two, uh, do, you have a, do you have a garage at home? And uh, number three, uh, do you have dinner alone? Okay, so I go and ask in my small group, I ask everybody, uh, I ask my questions, hey, Romulo, are you married? And Romulo says, yes, I am. And uh, Jose, what about you? Uh, are you married? Oh, yes, I am. And uh, what about you, Jonathan? Are you married? Oh, yes, I am. Okay, when I come back, to my to the uh, to the main session, I share my results. So uh, the majority the majority of my classmates are married, and uh, a third or a half of my classmates do not uh, a half of my my classmates do not have a garage at home. And uh, only one of my classmates uh, has dinner alone. So after I do my questionnaire, I share my results here. Teacher, yes. Can, can you repeat the second question? Garage, garage at home. Uh, a garage, yeah, a garage. Like uh, you have a, a, a parkway or a driveway. So uh, do you have a garage? Do you have a garage? garage? Ah, garage. Yeah, do you have a garage at home? Okay. okay. <laughs> so that those are my questions. But again, your questions can be about anything. Three questions only. Three only, not more, because we don't have much time. So only three questions about virtually anything in life. And uh, you make your own. Everybody makes different questions, okay? So... Let's make it now, all right? Uh, here, you know, just uh, you know, grab a pencil and a, and a notepad, write your questions, and uh, I'll give you five minutes to, well, less, let's, I'll give you just two minutes, and uh, you make your questions, and when we, and uh, when you finish, we ask, all right? So, Let's take uh, three minutes, three minutes to make our questions, right? So if you need uh, help with vocabulary, like for example, teacher, how do you say this? Uh, teacher, how do you say that? Ask, this is the time, all right? Second, let me go get a charger.
So, all right, 40, we still have two more minutes, okay? So you make your questions, okay? In a separate piece of paper or in a post-it or just anywhere. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah, you are? Okay. So why not just getting together and ask our questions? All right, so let's uh, break it up, uh, breakout, working breakout rooms. Just a second, we're gonna create him again. And this time, it's gonna be smaller groups, only two groups, all right? So there you go, accept your invitation, please. How many have a dog? I think so. I have a dog. Okay, Jonathan. Me? Have a yes, I have I have a dog too. Okay. Okay. And what, are, what? Yeah, me too. I have one. Yeah, me too. I have one. Okay, and then uh, the majority are uh, dog. Oh, the majority of your yeah. classmates have a dog. They're have a dog. <laughs> and yeah. The majority are my classmates have a dog. Is that yes. correct? Yeah, yeah. Good. Now somebody else asks a question. Okay, so we take turns. One person first, then next. So. Maria, Jose, okay, Jonathan, okay. and so on. All right, good. Okay. Okay, we'll continue. Uh, Maria, are you single? No, I'm married. Okay. And do you have dinner dinner alone? I don't have dinner yet. Okay. Do you have a garage at home, Camila? Yes, I have a garage. Hey, okay, two you're people using the my same. Questions. Come on, Omar. <laughs> Use other questions, okay? Ask other questions. Yes, <laughs> you're asking my questions. You use others. You know, simple about anything. Like, like for example, uh, I don't know, uh, are you married or uh, do you have a computer at home or whatever? Just whatever, okay? And uh, and uh, and uh, collect the results and take turns. So first you ask a question, okay? Omar asks the question. Now it's Aleda's turn, and Aleda asks everybody, okay? So Aleda asks everybody, uh, do you uh, do you put a Christmas tree on on Christmas? And everybody and Omar says yes. Camila says yes too, and Arabella says yes. So she says all of my classmates. Uh, set up a Christmas tree on Christmas. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, Aleta, do you have any refrigerator at home? Yes, I have. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. She does. All right. Good. So, make notes of their answers because you will report those answers too. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Camila, <laughs> the same question, Camila. <laughs> yes, I
Jose, Jose. Repeat the, the question, please. You uh, ate, uh, ate a candy. Uh, ate... Mm, no, no, no. Okay. I'm going to be the only one. I have, I have, after the lunch, I had one. <laughs> <laughs> Pero la digestión. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, the question is, uh, do you have a, a bike? Uh, Maria? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes. What about you, Jonathan? Do you uh, have a bike? For me, no. Only for my son. <laughs> okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't. Let me see. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Mario? I don't, sir. All right. Well, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. I think uh, because of time, it will probably go back. All right. It will go okay. back to the Okay. Okay. I also have to run attendance. All right. Just a second. Great. Uh, now that you guys are back here, uh, before we we go back, uh, we we check on your questions. We're going to, yeah. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna run attendance for the ones who were absent. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana is not here. Gladys Aminta Galdames. Merino is not here either. Ana Grisela Iglesias is not here. Cesar Vladimir Romero Rugamas is not here. And uh, let's keep checking on other, other zeros. Uh, it is Dorotea Sanchez Figueroa, not here. Claudia Evelyn Hernandez, tampoco está. Y Ana Lilian González de Peraza, tampoco. Gloria Beatriz Alegría Orellana, tampoco. Y Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez, tampoco está. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía, tampoco está. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's, let's go ahead and uh, check your service results. So everybody will have a, you will have a, a minute or a little less to talk about their results, okay? So remember, you, you go like, I asked, do you have a, and the, the majority of my classmates, so for example, I asked, I asked, uh, are you married? The majority of my classmates are married, okay? All right, so good. Now we take turns and everybody's going to speak. So uh, first, uh, let's have a, let's hear, let's hear Jose. Jose, can you share your results, please? Yes. My question was uh, if my, my group are single, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the answer is the 60% of my group are single. Great, very good. Oh, yeah, you say, remember, let's remember about percentages. Singular mm. or plural? Mm. Yeah, singular. All right, so that the majority See, of my group- Is single, is single. Is mm. single, <laughs> yes. Okay, very good, very good. All right, continue. Continue, continue sharing your results. Okay, in my case, I ask, uh, do you have a bike? The half of my classmates 
uh, answers that uh, don't have a bike. Right. The majority of my classmates don't no, they have, have. Uh, the health. The health. The health. All right. Okay. Half of your classmates don't have a bike. Uh -huh. All right. Good. Good. Now let's continue. You can also share more sentences, guys. Okay, and my question uh, are, uh, do you have a job? And the majority are to my classmate, have a job. All right, good. All right, great, very good. And uh, let's hear somebody else. Anybody else? Okay, and my question was, how many people live with you? And the majority of my, of my classmates lead with three or more people. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Very good. All right. Uh, Arabella? In my class, the 50th person uh, is in have, a, have kids uh, help of the class um, the majority uh, have the garage at home okay the majority yeah good very good all right great and uh let's hear let's hear other people uh omar what about you yes uh, in my group uh, a majority a uh, majority, uh, my, my question is, do you have any refrigerators at home? And a majority, the crew, the uh, answer me, yes. All right, so the majority of your classmates said yes. That's good, very good. And uh, yeah, let's keep going, let's keep going. So. You share one question already. Now we repeat the round. So even even if 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 uh, if you participate already, you participate again. Uh, Jose, what about you? Another question that you asked and its results, please. Uh, just let me check. The another one uh, question was: Are you graduated? Oh, we have a, let me see, an undergraduate. Yeah, do you have an undergraduate? Or, yeah, so what, what did people answer? Uh, the majority of my group, uh, it's a professional. All right, all right, good. So the majority of your, of your group mm -hmm. are professionals, or have a, a, a graduate, an undergraduate degree. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. And Romulo, what about you? Another question, please. Let me. Let me. I, are married. The majority are married. Yes. It's another yes, uh, question. Yes. Uh, the, the, the question is uh, Are you single? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, the majority of groups uh, are are married. Married. Okay. Married. The, the majority of your group are married. That's great. That's great. Very good. And uh, who else was there? Maria. Uh, another question. And its Ma results, please. Re really? No more questions. Uh, you didn't <laughs> ask any other questions. Okay, and uh, Camila, uh -huh. what about you? Did you ask another question? Okay, I asked, uh, the, what do you, uh, do you like onion? Okay. A, major, a majority of my classmates like onion. Okay, yeah, we all like it. It's, it's, a, it's good for cooking and it tastes good on tacos. Yes, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, good, any other questions that, uh, or, or question results that you guys would like to share? Any other? Any other? I had one. Well, yes, please, Mario. Uh, the question was: Do you have pets at home? 
Okay. And the uh, 100% of my classmates have a pet. All right. 100% of my classmates have a pet, you said, right? Yeah. All right, good. So uh, when we mean a when we mean a, a, a percentage, we got to be careful, right? So uh, you may use Teacher, either singular or plural, yes? When, when we use a, a percentage, what, yes. what is the rule? What is the rule? The, it depends on what you want to focus, all uh -huh. right? Let's, let's check on that. That is a great question. In fact, that is, that is uh, what I was just about to talk about. So here we have it. When majority or minority mean an uns unspecified number, more or less than 50, you use singular, all right? The majority or minority, right? But when majority means a specific percentage, you may use either or plural or singular verb. So a majority have or has voted against the measure. 10% minority is opposed to the measure. So if you don't have a, don't have a, a noun, it, you can use either one, all right? You can use either one of them. But if you have a noun, you may also use the plural. So it's kind of optional, all right? Like a 10%, all right, 10% opposed. So be careful when you have a percentage. That is a that was a, a good question. All right. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? No. No. Uh, no. We're all good. Okay. Great. So I guess uh, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining. And uh, just uh, some uh, li some little advice is to always do your exercises daily after every session so uh, so you don't have to rush and run at the end of the at the end of the week you know uh, on the weekend it's better just to rest and do one of one or two but don't leave things for the last minute like Good Salvadorians and uh, one more thing is this I know you guys are busy you have a job you have a family and you have everything but if you are here to learn English remember your goal so try not to miss classes okay it doesn't I, I know again we are we have plenty of things to do but uh, let's take advantage of this okay eso es como ya está es patrocinado, si bien es patrocinado, no está saliendo eh, de su bolsa, pero es, eh, es importante continuar con ese beneficio y es impo importante la, la asistencia. Así que les agradezco bastante por el esfuerzo que están haciendo y pues también eh, les beneficia a ustedes. Ok, continuar así, porque recordémonos cuánto cuesta un curso de inglés afuera, ¿verdad? Uno yeah. bueno, uno bueno, no cualquiera. Un, uno bueno anda cost, puede andar costando hasta 80 dólares, 100, arriba de los 100 dólares. Entonces, siempre hay que, to, hay que, hay que eh, aprovechar yeah. la, la oportunidad y de, de tratar de no, de no faltar. Okay? So, thank you, everybody. I hope you have a, a good night and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Thank See you. you tomorrow. Bye. Thank tomorrow. you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. <clears throat>